It's hero time! Would you looky there? Ain't that a sight? Tends to make one feel kind of small and insignificant like. What with the vastness and grandeur of the universe and all. Yeah, tell him about the legend, Octagon. I was just getting to that presently, Boyd. Now, I don't know about y'all, but my brother Hromboid here and I have heard tell of a legend. Uh-huh. We heard it from this guy who heard it from his cousin who used to live next door to this other guy. Be that as it may, <laughs> We have it from a very reliable source that the Galvin... Who is just about the smartest folks ever? Oh, heck, Ron Boy, do you want to tell this story? Well, okay. Legend has it that one of the Galvan created a whole planet all by himself called Primus. Now, what runs low on juice from time to time on account of it's really some kind of giant machine or some such? Preposterous tale, if you ask me. Sure is pretty, though. Ooh, what are them there beam thingies? They is for pulling the moons of a planet into a new orbit. Like so. And when the moons of Primus in particular is in just the right position, what you might call the sweet spot. Ooh, kick the dog and spit in the fire. Go on. The planet gets all charged up a fight again. It's quite the green energy initiative, actually. Now, every time the big planetary recharge happens on Primus, supposedly the Galvin set up a bunch of racetracks on worlds all over the known universe and NASA to celebrate with a galaxy-wide Grand Prix. Uh, w hold on there, that, that don't sound like something the Galvan would do, Octagon. Who's telling this story? You or me? I thought I was. No. Now, where was I? Oh, legend has it that whenever this here Grand Prix is held, the Galvin only allow the best racers in the galaxy to participate in this most prestigious of occasions. It's a winner take all, knock down, drag out, high speed showdown, the likes of which one is unlikely to ever see again in one's lifetime. In go-karts. So the legend goes. Ooh, that sure is a mighty fine story, Octagon. If only there was some way for you and I to partake in said improbable event. Honey, you should ask. Howdy! I'm Octagon Vredel, your commentator type person. This here's my brother, Ron Boyd. Call me Boyd. The event to which we were so wistfully referring before just happens to be about to take place right now. Well, don't that be all. Boyd and I'll be right here with you through the whole shebang. So sit back, kick off your gravity boots, and get ready for some galactic racing! Here we are at Blizzard Bridge, starting point for the beginner's luck circuit. This here is the ice planet Kilmus. Necrophrygians like Big Chill call this place home. Three, two, one.
Well, he ain't a leading no more. Now, here's a picturesque you planet. Three, two, one. Nature of all things. Every time. Nice. It would appear someone new is in the lead. If you ain't the leader, the view never changes. See ya. There was exceedingly nasty. I like it. Not liking this. That's gonna hurt, I expect. <laughs> Them there piles of decaying detritus mean we find ourselves on the planet Vulpin. This place is a dump for every type of nastiness imaginable and then some. Vulpamancers like wild muck come from hereabouts. No accounting for taste, I find the smell to be somewhat distressing on one's nasal cavities. Oh, so that's what that is. <laughs> Three, two... Go. 
what you might call painful. Ultimate Wrath appears to be more wound up than Terra Spin on a merry-go-round. Not cool! Dang! I do love it when somebody uses that ultimate on the watches. Done gone ultimate, and they is coming up fast. Bingo! <laughs> ultimate cannonbolt is Trust that they're Kevin Lip and them other racers that ain't gonna meet her now that he's all charged up. I'll do better next time. Chilling and chlorophyllic! 